Okay, I'm starting over. So, I wanted to do a video basically inspired by two different people. I don't think I really want to name either, though. But, um, basically it's defining, um, race in America, I guess you could say. Um, this one lady, she was trying to say because there should be a defining difference between black people and mixed people or something weird like that and I don't know her background or her racial background or what's going on with her but there was another person she wasn't responding to her I think she was talking to someone else who was trying to tell her basically who and who isn't black and uh black and isn't black in you know America and things of that nature and she was trying to address basically the foreign black people who I guess aren't really aware of our reality or really our cultural background because main thing here is this is why I have a lot of different photos here you'll see some of the people I have here are mixed race first generation black american and some people are what i would consider black american um I, I consider everybody black american that's either mixed or black american um but what i'm saying is there's some people that i put in there that were black with two black parents some people with biracial and black parent one a couple people who were biracial um the thing is I kind of find it weird with the other lady because it's like, like I said, I don't know where she comes from or what country she comes from that she doesn't understand that there's not really a difference. But in America, you have to pay attention to something. With black Americans, for one, if you do DNA tests for black Americans, generally they don't test as anything close to 100% black. They test actually closer to 50% black. And so it's like in America, mixed people are black people. And that's how it is. This is why people a part, that are like a part of her movement, a part of her platform or whatever, um, they often will look at mixed people and they will try and make like an image or a type of look for biracial Americans. Only to have run into problems with actual black people who are black Americans who look exactly the same. And the reason they look the same is because, well, genetically, there's a lot of, an, there's a lot of overlap, basically, you know. Um... And it kind of makes sense. Think of it this way. If most black Americans are basically a combination of mixed plus black, first generation, then obviously wouldn't you be more likely to look very similar to someone who is mixed? Like, you know. So, I mean, in America, people talk about the one-drop rule, especially on this type of platform. They always talk about how the one-drop rule is racist, how it's... um basically stripping mixed people of their identity or whatever and it's like this you want specifically to not be seen as black specifically you because it's not about one drop because if we were talking about removing the one drop rule the one drop rule included people who were between the ranges of mixed race heritage basically that would include black Americans, biracials, and all those people, right? Obviously, you're saying that black Americans are black. If they are black, then how are you not black? When, basically, I'm trying to say genetically, they're the same thing. It's just different generationally. So, uh, to me, that's why I kind of feel like on that video, talking about what is blackness, and the other lady basically saying, you know, people trying to determine what is black in America 
is nonsensical because all you have to understand in America, being black was basically anyone with black in them, you know. So uh, to me, I just think, you know, I feel like in these two people's situations, it's like the one who was trying to act like Mix was different, I feel like she like has maybe some personal issue and I've watched her channel before and she's kind of hit some kind of um issues with darker skinned black women I think maybe someone did her wrong or something in the past and I think that's why she tries to distance herself from um basically you know black women because she hates what those people did to her maybe and she doesn't want to identify with that um but i mean if she's in america she already understands that she's black um she's probably been recognized as that most likely um and you know as far as the other lady i feel like she generally gets it right but I feel like, you know, as far as the kind of family that she seems to have come from, she comes from a pretty traditional black American family. And, you know, most of our families, we understand, you know, that we do have an array of phenotypes because of our history, you know. And, you know, that doesn't change that we're black. We're still black, you know. It's not going to really... In America, it's not like, you know, mix is a specific thing. It's always been included with being black. Now, I mean, if we get more immigrants from other countries that are fully black or whatever, I don't know how that dynamic will work, but I'm just saying as it is now, most people who are black are the descendants of slaves, and those people had some mixture in them and so that's why there's going to be an overlap and it really doesn't make any sense at this point to say biracials are different from black people because we will constantly run into the same problem of thinking like oh this is a mixed phenotype these are mixed people and then we'll have people who are genetically and physically the same thing as the biracial people we're talking about so that's all i just have to say in this video um I think it's kind of ridiculous what the other lady was saying, and I think um, the lady who was, you know, more traditional and more realistic about how race is in America got it just right. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, and bye.